Hey guys, have you ever uh, needed to do an exercise of some sort to keep you in check? Yeah. Well, I myself would benefit from such an exercise. I know my kids would as well. And I mentioned a couple days ago on one of my videos that um, I talked to a school counselor and she had um, very profitable information for me to consider about how I have a tendency to want to control my children's response, right? They're not going to learn how to respond correctly if I'm constantly keeping them in check. They need to learn to keep in check themselves, okay? I'm not sure that I mentioned she gave me an exercise to help with this, and so I wanted to share with you today the exercise she shared with me. Um, it's basically an evaluation of how you're feeling. And it's really cute. I'll probably post it on Instagram and Facebook just so that you have reference. But it's got five steps, okay? And um, it's extremely key that you know yourself well enough that when you feel these feelings about to erupt, and I'm not talking about my kids. I mean, I am because that's why I got the exercise chart. But secretly, I'm like, well, thanks, Jan, because I needed that for me. Thanks, Jan. And so it's got five steps. I'm feeling calm and in control all the way to I'm about to blow. So I think my daughter's coming. Um, so, and then on the side next to these angry birds, um, yes, bombs on the top, it talks about what that feeling looks like so that they can identify it and then next to that they're to come up with they me we are to come up with ways that we can help com combat that feeling to minimize that feeling to take control over our emotions because otherwise we will blow we don't want to blow we want to survive yet another attack of raw emotions. And so I just want to encourage, they are just dying to get up in here. So I'm gonna make it short. I would just encourage you, challenge you, to assess your feelings. If you're feeling like you ever get out of control, and I feel that way all the time, so I know this is a benefit that I had almost done. Think, oh, yeah, take them. She'll take you. Speaking of emergency. So when you're feeling these feelings and you're losing control, you know how to identify it and you know what steps you've chosen to take. And she said that it doesn't have to be go to your room, take a time out. Um, it can be good things like, but you have to do it by yourself. Go for a stroll, go for a bike ride make a friendship bracelet, do some crafts, do some journaling. If you get all the way to bomb though, number five, you definitely need some alone time in your room, scream at a pillow. Um, just, you need to think about how you're acting and how to get better. And she came up with a great one. Um, I actually asked her if she just wanted to hop in the shower because I know how hot water makes me feel good how it calms me down because that's one of my items. So I said, do you want to just take a shower right now and just clean all this off? Just clean it all off because she's had some rough days. And so um, that actually helped her a lot and that was at the top of her list. So it's gonna be fun, more, more fun when you start seeing the results, the fruit of you taking control of your life, you taking control over your responses. And if you know what's about to happen you're feeling the welling, you're feeling the feeling that you is all too familiar, that you don't like, that you don't want, and you learn how to combat it and you come up with good approaches to that end. And so I am going to strongly encourage you to do that. Check out my Instagram at 1UBU and I'll have it posted to that. Um, if there's a way to post it to YouTube, I'll figure it out um, and to Facebook too. Sarah Miller or Sarah B. Miller, whichever. I, I don't really know because I have a business page that I can't figure out and I have a personal page that is still 
yeah, I'm hardly on Facebook. I'll just put it that way. And my manager, she, or my coach, whatever you want to call her, she is amazing. And she's been helping me put playlists together on my YouTube and all that stuff. So I know that my Facebook is just filled, filled with updates from my YouTube. So if you haven't checked out some of those older videos, do it. Now's your chance. Um, if you're not subscribed on my channel. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed, do it now. If this was helpful to you at all, please share and of course tag anyone that might benefit from this exercise chart that I will be putting on there. It's more of a feeling chart, I suppose. But go ahead and um, yeah, share, subscribe, add someone, tag someone, whatever you call it, and we'll be in touch. Check you later.